Okay, so M4 is our computer monitor and magnet. Um, so this is an old school CRT or cathode ray tube monitor. Um, so up at the front in the screen, the glass um, has phosphors coated onto it. So you can think of that as like a grid of pixels. And then back up here at the top, there's an electron beam that is, um, there are some electromagnets that scan it across and change the direction and cause the beam to hit different parts of the screen at different times. And um, basically, you know, it scans across and then moves down a little, scans across again, and does that really fast. And that's how it creates the frames that we see on the screen. Um, and the sort of the fact that that refresh rate is close to, but not exactly the same as the frame rate of my camera is why you get that vertical bar uh, moving down. Um, but to my eye, the screen looks evenly illuminated. Um, but the important point is the pixels are illuminated when the electron beam hits them. And um, we can change which pixels the beam hits on the screen by bringing a strong magnet nearby. And if you look, um, as I move this magnet around, it distorts the image. You can see I can even get a black um, circle where there are no electrons hitting the screen inside of this circle, but in general it kind of rotates or it around as you can see it looks sort of curvy um, I could flip the magnet around and it rotates it the other way but um, If I take a compass and check this magnet we can see that um, the sides are the North end of the magnet is the red side and the south end is the blue side so um, it's a little tricky to figure out the direction um, in terms of the force on the electrons because this is a very 3D problem, right? The magnetic field from this magnet is kind of coming out in all directions and curving around. Um, and then the, the electrons coming towards the screen are kind of moving out in a cone as well. So um, if you want to try and figure out the directions, you have to be sort of careful and maybe just pick like one particular spot and say, okay, the beam that would hit here is kind of coming at this sort of an angle. And then what's the field there? And then what happens, what's the force on that electron beam? But yeah, it's pretty fun to play around with. Ooh.